Welcome to week four of the Paris Marathon training videos and uh, we've hit a setback. And actually not just one setback, but two setbacks, which means we haven't been running for five days. But let's not worry about that right now. Let's get on with looking at what I did manage to get done in the brief period I was running in week four of the Paris Marathon training block. So on Monday morning, I needed to take the car in to get a new tire fitted. So I took the opportunity to run from Quick Fit to the track, which is not too far from there, round the track a few times and back to Quick Fit. And that made around 10K of easy running for Monday morning. Monday evening, unfortunately, was a bit of a cop out. Uh, I had a track session. Normally, we're really hard on the track sessions, but we did 8x800. And the decision was made to do it at threshold, zone three. Bad idea. Um, I went along with it. Uh, I shouldn't have done. I should have gone hard. Uh, we did it progressive, though. So each 800 meters, we did slightly faster. And the final 800 meters, we did in two minutes 55. So that's pretty good. Uh, but really, we should have been doing it, or I should have been doing it, at three minutes per 800. Uh, instead, we started a lot slower. Anyway, there we are. That was the track session on Monday night. So a double day on Monday and then another double day on Tuesday. Slightly easier on Tuesday. We did the Film My Run 500 with Noble Pro. That's 4.2 kilometers on Tuesday morning. And then Tuesday evening, I was on the treadmill again. And we did a nice, comfortable, around about 6K, I think, on Tuesday evening. So, so far in week four, we've done about 19 kilometers on Monday and around 10 kilometers on Tuesday. So around about 18 miles total. So little did I know that Wednesday would be my final session of the week, although it was the one really tough session we did on the treadmill doing the Zwift Paris Marathon training sessions. It was an interval session of uh, eight times 90 seconds with 90 second recovery. And uh, my pace was 3.23 per kilometre. So three minutes 23 per kilometre for 90 seconds, eight times. And uh, it was a tough session, definitely got into zone five. So uh, that was good. So what happened to the rest of the week, I hear you ask? Why no running Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday? Well, let me tell you. I don't know if you know, but if you watch the channel regularly, you'll know I'm heavily involved with Mud Crew down on the southwest coast of the country in Cornwall and the Arc of Attrition 100 mile race. So this weekend gone, I was working for Mud Crew and we had to leave on Thursday. Now I had been hoping to get a run in on Thursday morning before we left, but packing, logistics, it just, just didn't happen. And that's so common, isn't it, with running and building your life around your running. Sometimes these things happen and you just can't fit stuff in. And sometimes running has to come second. And this week it did, unfortunately. What I do is I manage the live stream and the live stream for the Mud Crew Arc of Attrition, the La Sportiva Arc of Attrition, uh, lasted 55 hours from Thursday evening at the first registration all the way through to Saturday night at just after midnight when we finally closed the stream down. And we did stream again for a couple of hours on Sunday morning for the awards ceremony. So it was a huge long stream and a, a massive undertaking. And even though we had hoped to get in some running during that time, it simply wasn't possible. We were far too busy, far too tired, and that's why I am now not very well. Of course, I wasn't on my own live streaming. I had my wife Victoria with me and we were supported by the fabulous Jay Grady from the Trail and Error podcast. If you've not listened to Tris and Jay on the Trail and Error podcast, go and do that immediately. As well as subscribing to the Film My Run YouTube channel, if you've not done that already, click that subscribe button below 
Much appreciated, it really helps out the channel, helps us to grow, thank you. So last year when we came home from live streaming at the Ark of Attrition, we managed to get a run in on Sunday evening. But this time we started to feel ill on the uh, journey home. Uh, just low immune system, you know, we've just picked up a bug or something and we felt pretty bad. I felt pretty bad when I got home on Sunday night and it got worse on Monday. So the start of week five, I did no running on Monday, just didn't feel up to it. And uh, today, I'm not too bad, today's Wednesday. Still feel ill, but able to get out for a run today. So I did five runs last week. And of those five, one of them was a hard effort. That was the Wednesday Paris Marathon training sessions on Zwift. And uh, so that makes 20%. So 80, 20 in full swing last week. One out of five runs was a hard effort. In terms of heart rate, about 7%. If you look at the spreadsheet there, you can see we're about 7% effort in zones four and five. And in terms of distance, about seven kilometers hard effort. So it was 35, 36-ish kilometers for the week last week. And uh, yeah, about seven kilometers of hard effort. Everything else, low heart rate, easy running. So I think I can claim some legitimate excuses for my paltry 35K in week four. I did about 50% outside, 50% on the treadmill, maybe a bit more outside, 19K outside, 17K on the treadmill, so a little bit more outside. But uh, yeah, I hope you'll forgive me and hopefully we can get back up to speed this week. We'll see if we can get somewhere close to 100K this week. So that'll be week five. One more week of 100K after that and then I'll start to try and increase the distance, the mileage that I do each week as we approach the Paris Marathon. Will five days of no running have affected my training? Will it have affected my fitness? Well, I'm hoping not, although the vast amounts of cakes and sweets and biscuits I ate may have done. <laughs> However, uh, often when you're training in a training block, you will take a week of recovery. So a lot of people might do three weeks of building and hard efforts and then take a week of recovery, lower mileage, slightly less stress on the body. And then they'll do another three weeks of hard effort. I haven't tended to do that in my training blocks, but that does seem to be quite a standard way to run in a training block. So maybe we can count those five days off as my rest week in this training block. If you ever have periods like this in your training block, then don't worry about it. Look, life gets in the way sometimes. Sometimes illness happens, injury happens. There's nothing you can do about it. We just have to deal with it and get on with it. We can't make ourselves feel bad about it. We just have to deal with what we've got. The best you can do is just get out there the next day that you can and run again. Just keep that consistency as much as you possibly can. But when life gets in the way, don't worry about it. Just chill, relax. It's only running. If you've missed the previous episodes in this series, then please do click that link there, which will take you to the playlist for the Paris Marathon training series. What's your training looking like at the moment? How are you feeling? Have you had any missed days, any illness, any injury? Let me know in the comments down below how you're dealing with that. And we'll see you for the next one on the start line next time. Bye-bye.